here short me tina.com with my daily recap today's friday so let me say tgif won't waste too much of your time we're going to just jump in and talk a little bit about the s p 500 but before we do that i want to say thank you so much for being here i appreciate it i know you can be doing other things right now on a Friday, but at least in this moment, right now, this second, you're here with me, and for that, I am forever grateful. Anyway, uh, SPY S&P 500 daily chart uh, dating back to 2017. Once again, the market sold off. I believe uh, even prior to open, the futures indicated this morning that the market or the Dow would have been down by something like 800 points. So again, similar to yesterday, we already knew that things weren't going to shape up to be that great of a trading day, although I think we kind of rebounded a little bit later uh, on in the day. Anyway, the SPY is off about uh, 1.6. 6%, a little north of 2%. We closed at 297.43. So we're right, sort of like right smack in the middle of that sort of once resistance, now support level of 297 to 300. We challenged that a little bit today, going as low as 290. But again, we had a bit of a rebound, eventually closed at 297.43. Uh, if you go back a bit to uh, last week when the uh, crash initially happened, uh, so, uh, this ETF went as low as uh, 294 to then eventually bounce up or rally the next day to close above that 295 level. So I say all that to say it seems as though at minimum the market wants to stay within that once resistance now support range of 295 to 300. So if we can kind of bounce around there for a bit, I think that that's actually a uh, positive for the market. So more or less, that's going to be the level that I'm paying attention to. If uh, next week's trading, we find that there's more pressure on that uh, area and it cannot hold, I would say pay attention. Next uh, level of support would be, let's, uh, let me give it to you right here. I want to say somewhere around here, that 282 to 284 level. And after that, uh, it's kind of free falling to that uh, 260 level. Hopefully we don't get there, but if we do get there, please, please, please realize it for what it is, which is a buying opportunity for anyone who has a longer term horizon, all right? Don't get scared. Just uh, approach it very sort of like rationally and look for stocks that you wanted to get in that really ran away from you uh, in 2019, 2020, all right? Not the time to panic, time to put on sort of like your... Um, your rational hat as much as you can as an investor and a trader and look for bargains at that point, all right? My take on the SPY, what else? All right, we have the IWM daily chart facing similar pressures off north of 2% on the day. You see, we closed here at 144.43. So I'm going to say we're essentially right on that support level that has held for the most part since 2017. We had a bit of a hiccup right here. Let me show it to you. We had a little bit of a hiccup uh, back in late 2018 where the market just completely capitulated here. Outside of that, support dating back to 2017 around three years is around this 144, 143, 145 area, somewhere around there. So we closed at our 144.43, one is low as was today's low. Today's low clocked in at around our 140.99. I think, honestly, as long as, once again, similar to the SPY, as long as the IWM can stay around there, I think things are okay. It might be a decent time to actually buy to get that bounce. If this cannot hold, however, uh, the market more than likely will do similar things to what we saw when it collapsed here and shed 25% in 2018. So uh, all in all, I say that to say, listen, the, the gain that we saw from late 2018 into 2020 wiped out, gone. Right now, we're trading at levels for the most part seen in 2017 and perhaps uh, some levels dating back to even uh 2016. But similar to the spy, no need to panic. Put on your rational hat. What else? All right, so let's uh, cap it with ticker DRAD. Let's just keep it light. This has been a rough week, so I'm sure everyone just wants to chill and relax. Anyway, DRAD daily chart stock is up about 114%. So huge congrats to the bulls. A complete contrast to what was going on in the broader markets and some individual stocks. Uh, closed at 684, up slightly in after hours. I think I see a quote of 689. Uh, nonetheless, stock went as high as 884 to again pull back to close at 684, which is relatively close to session lows of 
six dollars and twenty cents let's switch to the alley to see what we see uh as i as suspected or as i expected stock gapped up in the early morning and for the most part it actually faded for the remainder of the day so i'm going to draw a line here for you to pay attention to uh close to session lows again of 620 heading into monday if we break that watch out there's a gap there of around uh, three dollars and fifteen cents to be filled and you know what they say gaps generally get filled however we can stay above 620 that bodes well if you're long if we break 620 look out things might get a bit uh dangerous or scary at that point all right so we're gonna cap it there i kept it light hopefully uh this was informative tina here once again from shortmetina.com if you enjoyed any portion of that video do three things for me one comment in the comment section let me know did you understand did you like the analysis again Thumbs up, comment in the comment section. First thing, two, I do videos every single day, daily videos recapping stocks that are moving in the market. So if you want to ensure that you're alerted every time I upload a video, make sure you are subscribed at our YouTube channel at Short Me Tina. And this is the last thing. Third, third, third thing, final thing on this great, lovely TGIF. Friday. Last thing, right now on our website, we're hosting a free, yes, that's F-R-E-E, -E, free 14-day trading course, right? Just essentially relaying a lot of the things that I've learned trading the stock market for the past 28, two decades. So what we've been seeing the last two weeks in the market, guess what? Not familiar to me. I also talk to my subscribers on Centrally how to navigate these sorts of market. I'm pretty vocal about it here too. Anyway, if you want to take part in that free 14-day trading course, definitely head on over to our website, shortmetina.com. Sign up. Become a member. Thank you for listening. And as always, thank you for the support. Enjoy your weekend. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Not tomorrow. I'll talk to you on Monday. Once again, uh, TGI.